Okay. <laughs> we are most probably going to go into Loch Ern uh, water. We're kind of ready. Alan has a wetsuit on. Good boy. Me, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be cold. It's going to be it's so be icy cold. cold. And oh. suddenly there's a boat. Suddenly there's people everywhere. Um, they, yeah. they won't see us because we'll be in and out in no time at yeah, all. Yeah, if, if we even get in. Just enough to get wet. <laughs> okay, we'll see you on the other side. In about 10 seconds. Okay, bye. Okay, we did it. Um, we'll it, definitely do it again. It was cold. It was very, very cold. Yeah. Very cold. <laughs> really cold. Like, colder, <laughs> even colder than that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we saw ice cubes floating yes, past. Yeah. Wilson's licking my leg oh. right now. <laughs> There were polar bears and penguins and everything <laughs> in there. <laughs> oh my god. Um Alan had his wetsuit on, which was fine, and um I didn't I did put a t-shirt on. But the the thing, although it was shocking to go in and under, it's amazing how quickly the body gets acclimatized to the water, actually. I was surprised about that. And when I came out it didn't feel cold. I feel don't even feel cold now. Um but uh, the thing that put me off the most was the big rocks. And if we find a place that didn't have big rocks, that would be so much easier just to walk in. So we'll try and find a that next A sandy beach time. or maybe a, a drop-in point. I like the plunging in the water, so a little pier would be ideal. Yeah, we'll do that next time. Okay, we survived. <laughs> Bye. Bye.